Hello friends, so welcome back. So today we are going to complete the rest of sentence part. Here we are going to study four basic sentence structures. Let's move on. So first is simple sentence. It is a sentence with only one independent clause. It is referred to as independent because while it might be part of command or complex sentence, it can also stand by itself as a complex sentence. Simple sentence has the most basic element that it make it as sentence. It contains a subject, a verb and a complete thought. So you can say it contains all the elements. For example, the struggle is eternal. It itself is complete. Thomas waited for the train. The train was late. So here the train is subject and was is verb. <coughs> Kapil and Kam and took the bus. So here Kapil and Kam are compound subject and took his verb. So telling his actions. Now compound sentence. It is a sentence that contain at least two independent clauses connected to one another with a coordinating conjunction. Feature of it is two independent clauses. When they are connected with a coordinating a conjunction, it is known as compound sentence. Coordination conjunction, it is very easy to remember if you think the words fanboys. For example, for <coughs> F and not but or yet so so these are coordinating conjunction what they do they connect to independent clauses for example thomas waited for the train but the train was late kapil and kamin arrived at the bus station before noon and they left on the bus before i arrived so here you see these are all coordinating conjunction but and now Kapil and Kamin left on the bus before it arrived so I did not see them at the bus station so so you can see these are all coordinating conjunctions <clears throat> now we come to complex sentence it is a sentence that contains an independent clause and at least one or more dependent clause so here we see it contains one or more dependent clause. So what is dependent clause? It is similar to an independent clause or complete sentence, but it lacks one of the elements that would make it a complex sentence. What are dependent clauses? <coughs> because Anne and Joyce arrived at the bus station before noon while she arrived at the train station after they left on the bus. So dependent clauses such as those above can't stand alone as a statement, but they can be added to an independent clause to form a complex sentence. So you can see this is this is preliminary, but they can be added to independent clause to form a complex sentence because they do not have element to withstand alone. For this reason, now, dependent clause begin with the subordinating conjunction before, you know, words after, although, as, because, before, even though, if, since, though, unless, until, when, whenever, whereas, while, and wherever. <coughs> Now, complex sentences are often more effective than compound sentence because a compound sentence indicates clearer and more specific relation between the main parts of the sentence. The word before, for instance, tell readers that one thing occurs before another. The word although conveys more complex relationship than a word such as and conveys. Periodic sentence is used to refer to a complex sentence beginning with a dependent clause. So here what is there? A dependent clause is there. 
it begins with a dependent clause and ending with an independent clause <clears throat> so two elements are there one is dependent clause and it ends with an independent clause for example while she waited at the train station carmen realized that the train was late so here we can see periodic sentences can be specifically effective because the completed thought occurs at the end of it <clears throat> so the first part of the sentence can be built up to the meaning that comes at the end now we study compound complex sentence it is a sentence with two or more independent clause and at least one dependent clause so what we are talking two or more independent clause and at least one dependent clause so it combines the compound and complex sentence it is a mixture of compound and complex sentence the compound part means that it has two or more com complete sentences so the complex part means that it has one incomplete sentence so you can see the example his blue eyes were light sparkling behind half moon spectacles nose were very long and crooked as though it broken twice at least twice <coughs> so thanks for listening to me it is the end of part 1 uh, tomorrow i will come up with parts of his speech so we can learn new things so hope you practice more at home and try to form this examples i love you all thanks a lot